If you are visiting our channel for the first time, please subscribe first to get the basic and advanced maths concepts. Hello everyone. In our previous lectures, we have seen that how you can find the mean, median and mod for ungrouped data separately. Today, I'll show how you can find the mean, median and mod all together by using the one example. So let's find out the arithmetic mean first by using the given example where a data is given that shows the ages of the children of Mr. John's family that is one year, four year, five years, seven, nine, two, three, five, and two. So this is the data that is ungrouped. Keep this in mind. We are going to discuss today only the ungrouped data that how you can find the mean, median, and mod of ungrouped data. The data that is not in the form of frequency distribution or in the form of intervals. So for finding the arithmetic mean, what you have to do, you just need to follow a formula that is x dash is equals to summation of x divided by n. And X is basically the observations or the or the ages of the children's that are given in the example and N is the number of the observations. So we just need to add all the ages and divide it with the number. So 1 plus 4 plus 5 plus 7 plus 9 plus 2 plus 3 plus 5 plus 2 divided by what is n? n is 9. There are 9 number of observation or 9 children of which uh, ages are uh, written here. So we just need to add them together. So after adding we will get 38 divided by 9 and the answer will be 4.22. So the mean age or age of the children of the family of, of the John's family is 4.22. So this is how you can find the arithmetic mean of ungrouped data. Now we move towards the median how you can find the median. This is actually the summary that we have already discussed and how you can find them, uh, find them quickly in a very short time. So for medium, median what you have to do? You have to first arrange the data add, add, as the arranged data is necessary for finding the median. So data it will be arranged as 1, 2, 2, 3, 4, 5, 5, 7 and 9. So this is the arranged data from uh, in the increasing order from smallest to the greatest. So one thing that we have to do is just to use the formula that is the formula for finding the median that is x tilde is equals to n plus 1 divided by 2 tooth term will be the median. So for that what you have to do you have just need to put the value of n. n is what? n is the total number of observation that is 9. 9 plus 1 divided by 2 is equals to 10 divided by 2 and this will gives you with fifth term. So keep this in mind that here the data is odd. So while you, uh, for, for odd data this, uh, that is uh, odd data means the number of observation is in the uh, is the odd number. So uh, it will be easier to find the median of such data. And in order to find the, the uh, median of the even data, you have to uh, use the different formula that we have discussed in our previous lectures. So as this is a quick guide, so I'll just um, give you the overview of this. Then we have the mod. Last thing is mod. How you can find the mod? Mod is basically the most frequent observation in the given set of data observation that means the observation that occurs with the highest frequency so most frequent observation so what will be the mod of the given data let's see mod is equal to let's see which data occurs the most occurs mostly in the given data so if i give uh, if, if i uh, look at the observations here it is clear that there are two that occurs most frequently there is an observation that is two years um, the age of the children that is two years is occurs two times and there is one more there is one more observation that occurs most frequently that is five it is also occurring two times then how you can find the mod in such a case so in such a case we can say that there are two mods as there is not a single value that occurs most frequently so the mod will be equals to two and five so mod is equals to two and five so this is how you can find the mean median and mod of the uh, of the of the ungrouped data quickly so that's all from today's lecture thank you thank you for watching if you like this video please don't forget to subscribe our channel math.com for more updates thank you